Thanksgiving is one of my favorite times of the year. I absolutely love spending time with my family and organizing and planning ahead makes it so much easier to enjoy the memories. Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome to Living Luxuriously for Less. So today you're going to be getting a real treat. I am actually combining three different videos in one. So we're going to be doing a little organizing, a little planning, and a little decorating. So let's hop right in. When styling a buffet for the holidays, I actually like to create a small vignette or a centerpiece on the countertop or wherever that buffet may be in the home first. So I am at my friend's home today. She has such an amazing, beautiful kitchen. And then once I get the, the key elements of the centerpiece together, I start adding all of the different items that we'll be using on the actual buffet. So I um, will first add a little candlelight and then the frosted grapes and then the pumpkins from Z Gallery. And I also believe that I got them from Joann's on last year. So we have all of that in place. It looks really, really nice. It really coordinates with the kitchen. And once I add the floating candle, it will add that extra layer of ambiance as everyone gathers around to fix their Thanksgiving dinner. And it kind of gives a focal point for the family members. And I, I really like that aspect of it. Next up, I add the chafing dishes. I picked these up several years ago. I got them at an amazing deal, um, and they are by Gottinger, and I have them in oval and rectangular. So I'm going to add these because you can actually bake in them and then add the little tea lights underneath them to keep the dishes hot. So I'm going to add two rectangular ones and one oval one in the back, and this can hold like your dressing, your chicken your vegetables and keep them warm on while they're being um, served on the countertop. The next thing that I have is this super cute butter dish that I got from Dowin. And this is basically my white dish haul. I have wanted one of these forever. Ever since At Home with Nikki showed us her white dishes, I absolutely fell in love. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you my collection today. Next up, I have these square dinner plates. And what I like to do is multiply the number of dinner plates that I need Um or these are actually salad plates, but the number of plates that I need by the number of guests that I'm having. And I go ahead and sit those out so that I can be sure that I have enough. The next one is this um, octagon shaped um, serving dish. And I love the depth in it. That's why I'm showing you guys how deep it actually is. And it will be perfect for housing like your fried chicken, your breads or whatever you may have. So I'm going to place that in the center of the buffet. There were actually three of these in a pack. And so I'm going to place them throughout this buffet. So I didn't want to remove the bowls from the original packaging because I wanted to show you how well they were packed. Not one item arrived broken or chipped or damaged in any way. And I absolutely love the packaging. So the bowls are square and they came in, a, I think, a set of six. These are perfect for cereal, for salads, and for our dinner, we'll be using these for desserts. We love eating like peach cobbler with ice cream on top. So yeah, we're really, really extra as a family. So we're going to place those there. So when it's time to eat dessert, they'll be all ready. The next thing that I have is the soy spoons, the, the serving spoons. I absolutely fell in love with them when I saw them on the website. These are all porcelain, by the way. So every dish that I'm sharing with you is porcelain. I love these because you can put your little sides like dressing you can put ranch dressing in them you can put beans in them you can put your cranberry dressing in them the possibilities or are, are limitless so we're going to add those as well next up I have these it's a three pack of or maybe it's a four pack of the 10 inch porcelain plates I absolutely love these because you can actually use these to serve dinner you can use these to layer so the possibilities again are limitless there 
there. So I'm going to work these in to the buffet as well because I know that they will come in handy. And then when I'm not using them for Thanksgiving, I can use them for a taco night or, you know, a night where I just want to do like a fancy burger and fry. I love the shape and I absolutely think that they will be versatile throughout the year. The next item that I'm adding is the soy spoons. I'm putting them on top there. So if we decide we want to put, you know, different dressings on one of them, different, you know, sides of dressing or, um, or salad dressings or cranberry sauces or whatever the case may be, you can just pick up your individual serving and you will be good to go. Now, when I saw these, I knew I had to have them. They are the chi uh, chip and dip uh, serving tray. You can put the chips around and a dip um, right there uh, where the little bowl portion is. That will be great for an appetizer while you're waiting or while your family is waiting to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Now, here is another irregular shaped bowl. I actually love it because it reminds me when you turn it a little bit, it looks almost like a Christmas ornament. And so I really love that about it. It can also be used for, you know, desserts. It can be used for salads. For this one, I'm going to use it for the smaller dips like um, corn dip or, you know, like uh, Mexican corn dip is what we have. We also do um, like a giblet gravy, you know, something that doesn't require a lot of room. So I'm just kind of going to work those uh, throughout the buffet. And I think that will be an excellent accent for the small dishes, like maybe a cucumber salad, something super small that doesn't need a whole lot of room. Next up are these mixing bowls. These can also be used as serving bowls. And I'm going to share with you guys how I came up with the number of bowls or pieces that I need for each dish a little bit later on. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. So I'm going to also place these throughout the buffet because they came in a set of three. Next up is this amazing blue bowl. It's a royal blue color. They are great for cereal and things of that nature, but I'm actually going to be using this in a Christmas tablescape for my sister in love. Next up is this french fry bowl. And for this bowl, I think it's going to be perfect to, again, house pasta salads, potato salads, uh, green bean bundles will look great standing up in there. Um, just different dishes like that will look absolutely amazing. I love this three-tier tray. Oh my goodness, this three-tier dessert stand will definitely hold or house uh, an array of desserts. My family is huge on cooking, but I love that the the fact that it's three tier because it definitely saves a lot of space on the countertop while giving us many options to choose from when it's time to eat dessert. So here is the overall view of the buffet all set up. very clean and very crisp and the white dishes are going to make the food look absolutely amazing. I'm telling you when you're plating food whether you're cooking at home or if you're entertaining it looks so much your food looks so much better when it's plated on white dishes and these are absolutely amazing it would be perfect for all of your holiday celebrations and i will be sure to leave a link to all of these pieces in the description box below now pinterest was my go-to place when i was getting organized for thanksgiving dinner there were free printables for your thanksgiving checklist your Thanksgiving uh, guest list. So I have all of our guest list names all typed out. Um, also your grocery list. I was able to go through my cabinet and list the number of items that I needed, where they were, where they were on sale. And this really kept me organized or keeps me organized when planning not only for Thanksgiving, but for any holiday, Christmas as well. They also had these super cute napkin rings. They were like the paper napkin rings and I just printed them out on Christmas craft paper and then they had the little um, tags where you could kind of label all of the to-go boxes and 
um, your Thanksgiving, uh, another guest list and a grocery list. And then you can behind that was like a menu. They also had these little cute, thankful and grateful tags. And then they had the individual food tents where you could label all the food on the buffet. Another thing that they had was this thankful list where you can write down 10 things you were thankful for. And I absolutely love this activity because it's great when you're saying your grace right before Thanksgiving dinner, when you're saying your prayers, everybody can kind of take that moment to think about all the things that they are thankful for. And so, you know, if you don't want to label by name, you can also just write, use your name tags to write down the things that you're thankful for. And then also on the name tags for the food labels, it says, I am thankful for, and then you list the food, like I'm thankful for macaroni and cheese. I'm thankful for giblet gravy. I'm thankful for collard greens. I'm thankful for chicken because everybody in my family brings a different dish. I've also gone ahead and cut out the little list so everybody can participate in that activity. So when we say prayers our, our prayers they'll remember you know what they're thankful for and they're not they don't feel like they're put on the spot and then um, of course I've already cut out our labels for our napkin ring holders so that they, they can also serve as a place setting so I'm going to show you guys super quick how that's done I don't know if you have subscribed to the at home with Nikki subscription box but um, this white napkin is a an essential for every kitchen. You can just take your um, paper napkin ring holder, wrap it around your napkin, and it turns out fabulous. The next item that I have is this super cute uh, basket that I picked up at Ross, and I'm just going to put some little to-go bags in it that just simply say gobble gobble, and then they can label it with their names. And I think this basket was only like $3.99, and then I got the little to-go bags with the glitter gobble gobble on it at Michael's a few years ago. So I'm just going to sit those kind of off to the side so when people start getting drinks and you know smaller little dessert plates and things like that to go they can just grab the bag and label it with their name because I'll have pins and the little name tags next to the bag or probably inside the basket and they can just label their things staple it and go and there's no confusion about who has what or who picked up what because my family is really bad about that like who took the last piece of sweet potato pie you know and nobody knows so this year that will be all taken care of so here is the buffet all label now now that it's labeled I will take this down and wash each individual piece I wanted to show you guys again what that napkin looks like it looks so great on a white place setting um, just really really cute and then each individual food label um, will label each dish and so you know exactly how many uh, dishes you have what you need and you can wash it and put it right back so on thanksgiving day you're not rushing trying to find a container or find a dish to put some food in it's already there all you have to do is put it in place and it's a lot easier when you have a lot of family members over and people wanting to assist you in the kitchen you know you can say hey here's the macaroni and cheese go put it in the bowl or you know they know exactly where to place it and it cuts down on the confusion it's a lot more organized and it will flow very very well so here is the basket over in the corner I'll probably also um, put like I said the pins and all of the labels over there as well I was at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago and I ran across these and I knew that I had to have them but they were in silver so I got them for someone we know that loves them and I purchased the gold ones for me so I will put those out on the buffet as well and then you want to make sure you have all of your serving utensils I almost forgot to tell you guys this part you want to make sure you match up your serving utensils with the actual dish so for macaroni and cheese you want to make sure you have a spoon if you're going to do the gravy you want to make sure you have a small ladle so they can dip the gravy out if you're having chicken you want to make sure you have tongs you want to just make sure that all of your your serving pieces match your dishes so here is another view of that 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed seeing me organize and plan for the holidays. I hope this comes in handy for you as you're planning for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for whatever holiday that you may be celebrating. And I hope you guys enjoy this video again. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. And stay tuned. I have tons of more videos coming your way. So don't leave before you turn on that um, notification bell. Click the subscribe button. Become an official member of the Lux for Less family. Until next time, it's Melanie. Cheers.